Essay 6 Summary Description of ECE Websites There are four ECE websites uh, AIAS.us, AtomicPrecision.com, ET3M.net, Ubitech.org. The first one, owned by myself and hosted by Anexa, has been archived at the uh, Wayback Machine and the National Library of Wales and British Na National Archives um, as an outstanding website. So all the material there is permanently archived for future scholars and students. It has its own index and by now um, has a library of over 3,100 documents in its own right not only on matters of science, but also on other subjects, notably literature, genealogy, history, uh, art, and so on. Its uh, diary is uh, very popular, and uh, there are plans to transfer the blog onto the main site, um, so the, the blog will also be archived. These plans were, have been implemented since this essay was written. The AIAS.us site has a number of feedback activity sites which monitor the interest in, in all detail. The feedback sites uh, show that there is a, a massive uh, international interest in ECE theory which has therefore been uh, accepted by scientists and others worldwide for 14 years. Uh, it is estimated that the total number of readings of material on combined sites uh, is uh, 500 million to 1,000 million since 2002. Uh, so this is comparable with the number of albums sold by Bob Dylan or the Rolling Stones or something like that. Uh, but uh, this is heavy physics and not uh, popular music. Uh, an overview uh, summary of interest is posted um, every month on the um, home page and is regularly posted on the blog. The uh, feedback has been monitored daily since April 30th, 2004 uh, by myself. Um, uh, the original author of ECE Theory in March 2003. The quality of interest is also monitored and it has become clear that it, it, uh, the quality cannot be better. Um, a list of uh, visits from the top 20 universities is posted um, and, uh, on the, uh, in the book of Scientometrics. Um, the uh, Book of Scientometrics records roughly 1% only of the uh, huge total interest, uh, which is so great that it, it cannot be recorded by hand. It is, however, recorded um, on computer. The 1% um, high quality interest um, has been uh, amounts in itself to about um, Oh, the, the entire book of Scientometrics, Volume 1, published uh, in 2015 by New Generation, and uh, I'm currently working on Volume 2. It shows uh, continuous intense interest from staff and students of essentially every university of note with departments of science and engineering. Similar interest has been recorded in the overview file from large and small corporations and um, military facilities, organizations, schools, school districts, medical and military facilities, and so on. Government departments of many countries, up to head of state staff seniority, organizations and literally millions of individual scholars have uh, read the site um, continuously, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And the same is true for the other sites. When this essay 6 was written, there were 154 source papers. Um, now, at the time of broadcast, uh, 2nd of April 2016, 
there are 342 source papers and um, I'm working on 343 at the moment as usual with co-author Dr. Hausdeckert. <coughs> there are many thousands of background notes all posted and there are many articles and books uh, posted uh, by the ECE colleagues. Uh, Occasionally books are published, um, for example by Abramis, uh, Cambridge International and New Generation, but the power of our method of open source publishing is so overwhelming that the books are, ju are published just to, for distribution to a few uh, friends and scholars. Um, the AIAS.us site also contains a large amount of uh, material on uh, my avocations, <coughs> notably poetry, genealogy, history and photography, and uh, contains a prize-winning animation on molecular dynamics by Chris Pelkey and myself from Cornell Theory Center, and many other animations by the colleagues. It also has my complete uh, Omnia opera hyperlinked uh, to uh, early papers uh, of my career and uh, mid-career papers. The Omni Opera is now complete and took uh, several years to assemble with the help of many people. The uh, ECE theory has been recognised by um, high honours of the British government, uh, notably um, my appointment uh, to the to the civilist, the civilist pensioner, uh, directly appointed by uh, Elizabeth II, my distant uh, Tudor cousin, and um, the appointment uh, well, I was notified of the appointment by uh, the Prime Minister's office uh, when uh, Tony Blair was Prime Minister. This is because the Prime Minister is also the First Lord of the Treasury. Um, some predecessors of mine on the um, civil list uh, include uh, Michael Faraday, um, for example, Sir William Rowan Hamilton, John Dalton, um, and um, uh, Oliver Heaviside, who is um, less well known but who is very important for electronomics. Uh, uh, in literature, they include. Um, George Gordon, Lord Byron, uh, William Wordsworth, uh, Tennyson, um, uh, W. B. Yeats, James Joyce, and uh, Vernon Watkins, for example. In July 2008, I was raised to uh, um, to our major, that is, given my own coat of arms, and. Um, the rank of uh, gentleman. This is uh, this is a traditional uh, token of uh, recognition of achievement. In July 2010, my wife and I um, attended a garden party at Buckingham Palace uh, to mark the appointment. This was by special invitation. Uh, not all civilist pensioners are invited even though they are all of obviously very exceptional merit, all being appointed by Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth herself through the um, office of uh, the Prime Minister, after a very rigorous uh, assessment, of course. Um, it is obvious that there will be no such intense interest and no such extraordinary official recognition and uh, honours were not ECE of major importance to science and engineering as the first successful unified field theory in the history of physics. It, uh, it is, uh, one could say, it is much more popular now than the standard physics, uh, which is riddled with uh, problems, um, errors, self inconsistencies, unobservables, too many parameters, and so on. Um, the ECE fellows, so the ECE scholars and AIAS fellows are by implication among the best in the world of theoretical physics. Many are in Marcus Who's Who, uh, about half of them, 
Um, and uh, they have shown that the older physics of the 20th century is, is obsolete in many ways. Of course, there are some good parts of the standard model, but there are some uh, very bad parts too. <coughs> um, this may surprise the uninitiated, but um, papers such as uh, 150 and many others by now show uh, astonishing errors in Einstein's work. Um, so uh, the much vaunted Einstein field equation is, is plain wrong due to neglect of torsion. There are many, many other problems and the theory of Einstein, although a very great theory uh, in its time, of course, a pinnacle of human thought, uh, should not be regarded as uh, obsolete. Um, Einstein's uh, basic idea of, basi of uh, basing um, uh, physics on geometry is fine, but his mathematics were always prone uh, to error. So the, the point of ECE is to strengthen Einstein's ideas, otherwise uh, it would not be known as einstein cartan evans theory. The implications of ECE are many and far-reaching. It begs the question of why so much government funding is being wasted on obsolete theory, much of it riddled with errors, some of them terrible howlers that make a wolf sound like a lamb. The answer appears to be that governments listen far too much to advisors with vested interest, to people with vested interest in continuing to fund meaningless science such as the, uh, the theory of CERN, possibly not the experimentation of CERN, but that is, the cost of that is, is uh, horrendous. The standard model of physics has become a hugely elaborate contrivance. In fact, it has become unscientific by many measures. In great contrast, ECE makes use of entirely standard, very well-known geometry by Elie Carton to derive all the known equations of physics from geometry and to pro provide a mass of new ideas in almost 500 papers in the UFT series to date in English and Spanish. Faced with this tide of imagination and a high noon of enlightenment, the standard modelers have retreated into their cave full of idols and into historical obscurity. It has become clear that they have tried to restrict or stop publication of genuine new science, science based on simplicity and the experimental testing of theory, that is Occam's razor and Baconian principles. Authority in science no longer resides in academia in particular. In fact, it has never resided in academia. This may again surprise the initiated, but the historical facts are entirely clear. Of course, there are many good uh, staff members and students and so on in academia, um, but uh, there are just as many uh, good people outside. CERN is a, a profligate waste of money. The government of Austria signalled this clearly recently by trying to withdraw from CERN. It was stopped apparently by contractual obligations. That government is free to use ECE theory, for example at The Hague, in a test case that would allow countries to withdraw from their CERN contracts. The only way forward at CERN would be to adopt to adopt the only correct unified field theory at present, which is ECE theory. Even if CERN did this, it would still be impractically expensive. All that wasted funding should be transferred into urgently needed research on new energy. The alternative is dangerous to political instability as countries fight over scarce fuel. These scenarios are already been, being discussed by governments in an increasingly urgent way. The development of ECE is a development of natural philosophy first and foremost, but ECE shows that electric power can be obtained from space-time without violation of conservation of energy. It is obvious that the Hamiltonian in relativity is defined by the geometry of space-time. The Hamiltonian is a conserved total energy. There is uh, electric power all around us in unlimited quantities because all around us means space-time. 
This is the fundamental idea of uh, general relativity, long accepted in gravitation. This much was realized by that uh, great scientist and inventor, Nikola Tesla, more than a hundred years ago, and if he had been allowed to develop his work, there would be no energy crisis today. Those that stop Tesla are worthy of the harshest historical condemnation because they condemned humankind through their own greed and short-sightedness. Let us not allow all that to happen again. At the time of this broadcast, 2nd of April 2016, it is now known um, how to uh, trap energy from space-time uh, through circuits uh, described in UFT 311, and it is known that ECE theory describes such uh, circuits perfectly.